What's up, tribe? Welcome to your rock and roll barefoot boot camp class for this kettlebell class. Barefoot boot camp. You will need kettlebells, one heavy, one light, and a pair of light dumbbells. You can also substitute a lot of the kettlebell drills with dumbbell drills if you choose. We're gonna get started at the top of the mat, so feet really wide, 45 second warm ups. We're gonna do about 10 of those, maybe seven to 10 minutes. Here we go, reach up and then just step on that. So what we're looking for here is for you just to really reach up high, and I'm not really moving too fast. It smells like a burpee, looks like a burpee, but it is not a burpee. I want you to focus on really reaching up, maybe giving a little mini back bend at the top. Plant your hands firmly, step back, left leg, right leg, and then just step up into that half squat. And it's as if you're picking something up into the sky, maybe making an offering to the kettlebell gods and goddesses so that you can have a legit class. You got about 20 seconds to go. Let's add some breath to this movement, right? Exhale as you brace core. Inhale as you rise up. Exhale, plant the palms, step it back. Hit that plank position, reaching up. Last one, plant the palms. Step on back, plank position, tuck back toes, downward facing dog. Feet, hip width, hand shoulder width. Walk the hands back. And then soft, bend in the spine and the knees. I'm just gonna articulate it up to the top. Bring your feet about hip width distance apart. Arms can reach overhead, and we have 45 seconds of calf raises. So, one of the benefits of working out barefoot boot camp is the benefit of being able to work out in your bare feet, because a lot of muscles in the ankles toes, and a lot of nerve endings. So we really get to feel where we're at. Increase and enhance your awareness. You got about 20 seconds to go. <sighs> Option to bring the hands behind the head. And really press into the big and second toe. Stacking shoulders over hips, over knees, over the balls of the feet, and moving from your center. So I'm thinking of my center, two inches below the belly button for three, two, Last one, feet about hip width distance apart, standing articulation, take a big inhale. As you exhale, drop the chin, articulating through the spine. You want one vertebrae to cascade on one another, one at a time, big inhale. Exhale, roll it up. Moving at a slightly quicker clip, inhale to exhale. And you're gonna feel where in the spine you might be a little bit stuck, meaning it doesn't articulate as nicely, so maybe mid-back for a lot of people, and you'll feel it, so the more you can articulate, the more control you're gonna have over your limbs, because it's a deep, microscopic control close to the spine, deep back muscles. Last one, over-exaggerate, dropping the chin, the chest, concave in, relax the shoulders, drop it on down, walk it out to plank position, drop the knees. We're gonna do a little variation on your cat and cow, so fingers in, making letter A, knees slightly out, lift up to the balls, or off the knees, on the balls of the feet, squeeze the core for three, two, one, then drop the knees, and we're just gonna inhale, arch, exhale, scoop belly, inhale, Arch, exhale, scoop belly, going back and forth. As you exhale, press into the mat with the balls of the feet. As you inhale, imagine pulling yourself forward and you need to rotate your right bicep, left bicep outward to get a little more leverage. Option to go a little bit quicker, which doesn't mean frantic, it just means kind of smoother. Opening up the back for three. Two, and last one. This time, just drop it all the way down. Touch the elbows to the floor, and then just press up. So I'm just finding some mobility in the shoulders, the elbows. My hips are sitting back, my knees are wide. Now see if you can touch your forehead to the mat. So forehead to the mat, right between the frames of the arms. Don't let your neighbor see you doing this, it's gonna look weird. <laughs> Like, why are they banging their head into the floor? For three, two, on the last one, tuck back toes, downward facing dog, inhale, right leg high to the sky, right foot outside, right hand, big step, then step back to downward dog, inhale, left leg high to the sky, big step, then downward dog, back and forth, 
about 35 seconds. And you can take your time on this one. I want you to really open up the hip as if you're stepping over something and then left foot, outside left pinky. You can drop the back knee, it's all good. Stepping back, downward dog, pick up the leg. Big, giant step, dropping the knee feels good. Step it back, last one. Left foot, left hand, right foot, right hand. Step back, right, left with your hands. That's how you're gonna step back. And then placing the weight on the right palm, right hand, right arm, left hand's gonna come to the other side and we're just gonna pulse here for five. Four, three, two, one. Left hand's gonna go behind, right hand's gonna come across. Same thing, just pulse. And option to hold, but, but I am dipping the hips, soft bend in the elbow. Three more, two more, one more. Come to a comfortable seated position. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, hands to heart center. Maybe set an intention for your class. It could be power, speed, grace, compassion, whatever it is that is gonna light you up. Pick it right now, focus it, take a big inhale. As you exhale, bring hands to heart center, hands come out in front, little quick yoga flow, like cardio, we're gonna get right into it. So tuck back toes, downward facing dog, inhale right leg high to the sky. As you exhale, right foot outside right hand, inhale right arm reaches up high, exhale plant the palm, this time left foot outside left hand, hands go right on the kettlebells, dropping the hips, Chest is up, so you're gonna pull on the kettlebell handles. As you exhale, just straighten the legs. You can put a soft bend in the neck and the knees. Take a big inhale, drop it back. Plant the palm, step straight back, plank position. Downward facing dog, inhale, left leg high to the sky, left foot outside, left hand. Basically, you're in a dragon's lunge, one of our favorites here at Vibe Yoga and Fitness, reaching up high to the sky with the left hand. Left hand outside the, or inside the foot, right hand, also, it's gonna be inside the foot, and then grab the kettlebells, drop the chest back, straighten the legs out. Hips down, hands down, stepping back, plank position, lower all the way down to the belly, so you can put a soft bend in the knee if you need to. And then easy, what I'm gonna do is pick up cactus arms. <sighs> Inhale, as you exhale, contract the lats. So you can imagine like there's something in front of you, you're gonna pull it towards you. You want to fine tune it a little bit more. Imagine your pinkies lifting up. So I'm going to rotate and lift the pinkies up. We got about 20 seconds to go. Pressing the tops of the feet into the mat. Feels awesome, actually. And then you can pick up the legs, too. Let's do that. Feel that. So you should feel your back contracting, shoulders sliding down the back body for five, four, three, two, last one. Tuck back toes, downward facing dog. This is gonna be a very simple flow, and then we're gonna get into a little cardio. Here we go, right leg up high to the sky, take a big inhale. Exhale, low lunge, knee stacked over the ankle. Inhale, warrior two, breathe, take a big inhale. Legs are wide, feet are planted, shoulders down the back, chest is up. You're gonna windmill your arm all the way down. This time, see if you can get to your forearm. If you need help, you can plant your right hand down, yeah? And then just step back. Side plank position, squeeze for five, four, three, two, one, little challenge. Just come back to forearm plank, walk your feet in, that's number one. Plant your palms, number two, and then three, just press straight up. Inhale, left leg high to the sky. Exhale, low lunge, windmill. Right arm followed by left, breathing here. Just check in, spread your arms, your fingers wide, chest is up, spine is tall. Flipping your right palm, look, I'm gonna glide all the way down to my forearm, but I'm gonna take my left hand if you need to, right? That way I can, boom, just like that. And then just step back. Modification, you can stay right where you're at, hold for five, four, three, two, one. This time we're gonna come back to plank position, lean forward, 20 seconds, just easy mountain climber. We're gonna pop up, 20 seconds, jumping jack. You got 10 seconds to go. If you're feeling warm, you can go a little bit quicker, squeeze the core, shoot the legs back. We're gonna pop up in five, four, three, two. Pop up, 
Just 20 seconds jumping jack. Do some hip mobility, some shoulders, and we're picking up a bell. Dumbbells, that is. You got about 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Both arms. I'm going to face you at the same time. Here we go. Just swing your arms. We're going to go 10 seconds forward. 10 seconds back. Swing them. Hey, I get it. You might have tight shoulders. If you do, you can just keep it a little shallow, but if you're feeling good, just make a big ass circle for three, two, one, roll the hips out. Ooh, we're about to get into some dumbbell work. I need you to really move your hips forward and back, feeling the balance on the feet, reverse direction. Just like this big circle for five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. So grab your dumbbells. If you have light, five is good. I got 10 because that's how we roll over here at Vibe Yoga and Fitness. On this one, I'm gonna mirror you. So feet shoulder with apart, heels in, toes out. Drop your chest and your hips, not your chest, and press straight up. So just basic, here we go. And it's a squat pattern, so you gotta fight to keep your chest up. Just like so. Elbows point forward, which is gonna come in handy when you do your rack position with the kettlebell. So let's put that together. Fight to keep the chest up on the way down. Explode up. And by explode, I just want you to create momentum. I'm gonna turn profile as you can see. That you do wanna to fight to keep the chest up. Chin level, press straight up. But gotta get tight at the top. Obviously, it's where we're here. Elbows forward, pinkies forward for three. Hang on to your dumbbells, two. Last one, easy, tap it out.